Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, two of these guys I played very recently, I think. Unless I got confused with my bananas. Alright, we're going Warlock anyway. The shadow. Yeah, shadows, that's what it is. Okay, Anima Golem. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously very large for the cost, and he's a mech, which is cool, but... At the end of each turn, so not just your turn, at the end of each player's turn, if he's your only minion, he dies. So they, they're incentivized to kill your other stuff. It would be pretty hard to, like, it could easily work out really well, but I don't trust it. Twisting Nether would be very strong in the arena. Molten Giant, also pretty damn strong in the arena. I mean, Twisting Nether solves a lot of problems, but that 8 mana, whereas this guy, he can really turn a game around. And I'm a warlock too, so I think I, I think the molten giant is the best, even though those were tempting. Warden, so far I don't like as much anymore. Now there's one mana. I mean, it was hard to argue with when it was zero mana. I don't like discarding cards. I'd rather have other things than that. So I'm gonna take the Drake, even though they backfire. Like, well, not backfire, but they don't work for me often the way I want them to. Uh, we'll take the Undertaker. He's also not as good as he used to be, but we'll give it a shot. Bluegill is pretty good, but I'm going to take Voidwalker. I am very fond of Voidwalker. It's very efficient to me. Even though it's not a very big card. Uh, Void Terror is pretty interesting. If I had to take that, I can start getting more things to do sort of temporary buffs. Mind Control deck is good. Illuminator, I'm not going to have secrets. So yeah, Void Terror. They're fun. Bad removal. Uh, discarding cards so bad. Loot Order gives me cards, even though he's much smaller. Blood Aim's pretty good. Mortal Coil is okay, but I'm going to take Mechanical Yeti. I want some fighting strength in this deck. Currently, it's kind of weird stuff. I'm going to take the Void Voidwalker over the Imp. We're going to take the Yeti, though. Yetis aren't as good as they used to be, but they're still Yetis, and holy crap. I know, I'll take Stalag, the guy who needs another Legendary to combo. Or Rend Blackhand, who needs a Dragon and only blows up Legendaries. Two of these cards are not great, and one of these is one of the most commonly crafted legendaries I've seen since the expansion came out, so definitely taking Dr. Boom. That's pretty sick. This is a pretty good row. I'm I'm not as big a fan of Force Tank Max. Like, I would take, like, the Boulder Fist Ogre before this, even though it's pretty good. These guys are both very strong at two mana, though. I'm going to take the Dire Wolf Alpha. It goes well with my Void Walkers. Um, not gonna have weapons. Clockwork Gnome is pretty good early play. More stuff. Imp Gang Boss is good. He's better if you can buff him. Hellfire would be nice though, so I have an option to blow up things. I would like to blow up things. Mana Addict would go well with the Void Terror, kind of, but Mind Control Tech, I don't know. I think Void Terror, even though it's getting. I don't think I have the cards to support all these Void Terrors. Volcanic Rake or Hungry Dragon? And Hungry Dragon is so much tougher. Yeah, it's got a drawback, but I'm, I'm going to take the Hungry Dragon. Maybe a mistake. That sign just doesn't help me so much. Fairy Dragon does. We're so far we're a little bit aggro here, early game stuff. Dragonkin Sorcerer. I'm not. I, it's not looking like I have a lot of spells that buff. And even if I'm a warlock, my spells are generally going to buff just demons. On the other hand, I actually have a whole bunch of demons, including Void Walkers, who go really well with Demon Fire. Plus, you can use it to damage opponents if you don't have a demon. I think that's a good choice for this deck. I hate you. I hate you even more. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a tough choice. I hate you all. I, I really just hate you all. This is a crappy, crappy row. Friggin' junk ass. I have a fair amount of cheap minions already. I think I'm going to take him. He does have a powerful effect. Like, doing two damage to something and getting a minion with six points of stats is fine. I just hate his stats. And I don't like his cost. Out of that row, he is going to do more for me than, like, the Rifleman is. This is just a fact. Ravenhold Assassin is, like, pretty meh for a big minion. Angry Chicken. So we're going to take the Implosion. More demons. Why not? Um, take her. Oh, yeah, we're not going to have bananas. Yeah, not. Jeeves, no. Uh, Violet Teacher is the best one of those guys, just on general principles. I don't have the mechs for that, and I don't have the weapons for that, so Bloodfen Rapper. I think I'm back in the back into looking for some bigger guys, although things that blow up enemies would be a high premium, like this. That makes me happier. 
Shield Master or another Direwolf Alpha? Ooh, I have like no taunt, don't I? Yeah, I find my lack of taunt disturbing. Mistress of Pain, I don't have that much stuff to actually buff them. So I'm going to take another Violet Teacher. I don't have that many spells either, but I'd rather have a 3-5 for 4 than a 1-4 for 2 most of the time. Yeah, she heals you and stuff, but... Um, I need the utility more than whatever else those other cards were giving, which was not much. Don't have mechs for you, although... I guess the Bloodfriend Raptor... I don't like Nightblade, I don't like at all. I can take the Raptor, he's not doing that much for me. I'm going to take the Mech Warper anyway, even though I have, like... N well, I actually have a couple things that can benefit. Do I take the Cult Master? I mean, you go with the Violet T-shirt really well, but I think the chances of that going off, I think I'd rather just have more fatness. Honestly. Probably a mistake. We're going to take the Dread Infernal. I, I said I wanted some bigger things. Wow, this is a crappy road at the end, but we do, we have a tiny, we have the most tiny amount of mech energy, but why not? Take him. Actually feeling okay about this deck. We're going to see why it's wrong. But so far, it's kind of okay. I've got about four Yetis, plus another three, three fives for four with good abilities. Or, well, if you count Taunt as a good ability. I think having some Taunt in your deck is very important. You don't want to overdo it on Taunt. In fact, the more Taunt you have, the less valuable the next thing with Taunt is. But that said, if I have nothing with Taunt, getting one or two, I think, is very beneficial. And I've got about two. Okay, now this is a little bit too much in the four cost area. I'm going to pitch two, those two. Try and get something cheaper, although I might not, because I don't have all that much cheap stuff. Blech. I don't have any taunt givers for the Molten Golem, but he's still pretty good. Um, I don't like that. Hopefully he just got an Undertaker. Bring out your dead. I have... I've got some death rattle actually. I've got the mechanical yetis who do like him, but he's not going to live that long. He's not that good anyway. Well, that's a, a sad thing to see, because it's going to kill my fairy dragon. Can't do much about it though. He might, if he has a North Star cleric, he might choose to kill this so that he can heal his guy and have it survive, because he would draw a card. If he has a North Star cleric, that I don't like to see. Dragon synergy bad. So I could coin out the Hungry Dragon, or I could coin out the Mechanical Yeti. I could also coin out the Spellbreaker and silence her, which is just using it to get rid of plus one, plus one, but it would hurt her somewhat. But no, I think Mechanical Yeti would be the thing to do. Although, the Nullifier, they would kill the Nullifier, but it would keep my Fairy Dragon alive. Do I care that much? Probably not. Giving my opponent's cards is not my favorite thing. But I'll take it. For now. I'm surprised. I must be missing something you can do with this guy. Because it seems like all you can do is you can pull the plug. Then you can still do like nothing. Except put the plug back in. Really, you can't pull the plug when it's empty. All right. And then you can just bring the lava back. Like, there's nothing else you can do with that. So you damaged him but left him alive. That is weird. Didn't heal her? Ah. Of course, if I kill her, that's not going to work out great. This is actually a very annoying setup you've got there. I'm thinking silence him and then kill her. Uh, whatever I do is not going to work out great. Let's just do it. This way, my boy's not going to draw cards from it. His guys do more than one damage, so the one hit point thing probably going to be the same as three hit points right now. He can trade his army and kill mine. Yeah. Oh well. 
let's see. Void Terror, interesting. This might stand up to that? Probably not. I'm going to cast this and see what horrible fate awaits me. I'll never tell. Okay, you do that. I worked out okay, actually. I don't have any secrets. He doesn't have any secrets, because he can't steal them from me. Thought it were death bad. So that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, joy. More no shares. You think you get rid of them. Mech Warper, let me put him up for three. It's not especially helpful, because that would still be most of my mana. Could draw a card, but then I'm... Uh, no, I think I'm just gonna play stuff. It's not very good in terms of plays. There's nothing. Flipping's not doing me any good. All I can do right now is play stuff and hope for a better opportunity later. Next turn, I'm probably drawing a card. Yeah, I don't know where I'm doing is not working out great. That's for sure. That's not good either. Also not good. The light protects me. On Hellfire. This would be a turn. I only have one Hellfire, but this would be good? No. Of course not. So I could flip him, wolf out, kill that. Not the worst. Oh, I did in the wrong order. Oh, whatever. I wasn't going to be able to do anything with the one mana. I was going to play this anyway, so I guess it made no difference, but it's still dumb. I still did it in the wrong order. I could have one empty mana. I could have one mana crystal Your sitting there. Really? Okay, well, that's asinine. It's funny it doesn't remove the attack, because of course isn't, this is the one that's giving it, so silencing this guy doesn't do that. doesn't get rid of the constant effect like that. Uh, I am so losing this game, because priests are better than warlocks. And also, he has pretty good stuff, and the stuff I have does not seem to be working out for me. I can't even play multiple of these cards together very effectively. I am and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Mostly die. I just needed him to not have that Shadow Word Death. <laughs> That's when everything went downhill. Oh my god. That is bad. This guy already wasn't really winning. Now you're going to take him out with this. And I'm going to get crushed. Ow. Good news, everyone. He's cheaper now. Unfortunately, I'm dead. Yep. That might actually do something if not for him. Well, I'm dead anyway, so we're just going to play what looks most impressive. Oh, I forgot. That permanencyed his plus one, plus one, so it actually made him bigger. That didn't matter. I was losing, but... In the yeah. Right name. Boo. Not a good start. I feel like my deck's okay. I I have five or six cards that blow things up. I did not draw a single one. That makes a big difference. I have two bombs, hellfire, demon fire. At least four anyway. I've got the crappy two damage rifleman guy. Are you leaving me alive? You're a moron. I normally don't concede, but if my opponent's going to be an idiot and not kill me when he has me dead, I am not going to waste time and give him a chance to waste more time. So, not a great start, but we'll see if I can pick it up and do a little bit better with what seems like a perfectly decent... Oh, it's the implosion. That was another one that can blow things up. Seems like a perfectly decent warlock deck for next time.
Show some love to the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.